Welcome back, America. We're here with Professor Eugene Kantorovich, professor at the Antonin Scalia School of Law here in the United States. He's also a scholar at the Kohelet Policy Forum. Professor, let's get to it. Why are you being lectured in Israel constantly about the rules of law and proportionality when you're up against a terrorist enemy that wants to blow out every Jew in, the, in, the, in Israel? Yeah, it's a little bit obnoxious when uh, President Biden comes over and he said many nice things, but then he said, of course, don't punish Gazan civilians, don't engage in collective punishment, as if Israel would ever do such a thing. Biden has an interest. He needs to support Israel. Uh, you know, at least openly and somewhat to not lose the Jewish vote in the elections. But he also wants to keep this fight contained and keep Israel from going all the way and actually taking out its enemies. Because Hamas, the people who perpetrated this horrible massacre, are simply puppets of Iran. And of course, Biden's Middle East policy, like Obama's, has been focused on making nice with Iran. He transferred six billion dollars to Iran. He has lifted sanctions on Iran. So in the end, Israel cannot be safe unless it takes out its Iranian-backed proxies on its doorstep, Hezbollah and Hamas. But ultimately, Iran needs to be dealt with also. And the bigger this war gets, the more it's going to be a reminder of Biden's failed Middle Eastern policy and his appeasement of Iran. So he wants Israel to do something because he understands Israel has to do something, but he does not necessarily support Israel going all the way, taking out Hamas and actually preventing it from coming back because that's what Israel really needs to do. A country cannot live with a massacre like this every 20 years, which means Israel must take out Hamas and it must make sure it never comes back. And to see how you do that, you have to look at Nazi Germany, which was also a totalitarian society, authoritarian society, but with broad popular support. That means you have to come, you have to take over, and you have to make them really understand that they lost and go through a denazification policy. It means you have to change the borders. Uh, it means you have to really get rid of all the bad guys and, uh, you know, not let the people who supported them come back into power. Uh, that is a long task. Biden does not want Israel to go that far. He's already said it. He said, we don't want you to end up occupying Gaza. But that's what America did with Nazi Germany. That's the only way to get these guys out. And without that, this is just going to be like a cancer that grows back again, God forbid. And just so America understands, the Gaza Strip was fought for. Egyptians were defeated, Israel controlled it, and then Israel tried an experiment. It gave the Gaza Strip to the Palestinians, who elected a terrorist regime that has used this so-called two-state solution to try and pursue a final solution, correct? It's very important to know. Israel pulled out all the soldiers, uh, all the civilians from Gaza in 2005. That people were saying, oh, the settlers are the problem. Everyone came out. They handed it over to Fatah. Now, Fatah was immediately replaced by Hamas, which is actually much more powerful. That's a reason not to hand it over to Fatah again. They're not going to last. And since then, they have pursued a genocidal campaign against Israel. So what have we seen? The only thing that prevents these kind of attacks, the only thing that prevents this from being used as a base for Holocaust-like massacres of Jews is Israeli control over the territory. That is the only thing that has proved uh, effective. Control by the Palestinian Authority Fatah has not worked, and obviously Hamas doesn't work. All right, Professor, we appreciate your uh, input very, very much. So what's strange to me is the lectures to the victim where your people were just slaughtered yeah. uh, and that the Israelis don't fight wars to slaughter people. They fight wars to defend themselves. And these constant lectures by Biden and the Obama people who surround him, they're, they're, they're not just obnoxious. They send exactly the wrong signal to the enemy. Thank you, Professor, and God bless you. Thank you for having me on, Mark. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.